All right, all right, all right. I know my commentary on the last video was a little less than stellar. So, um, I actually had a, uh, a bunch of rounds recorded. Beyond 16, thought I'd started at 17. Fresh here for a new video. I uh, had died a number of times. Um, actually on my way to hopefully where we're going to go, to whatever round we're going to go to. I don't know what round it's going to go to. But uh, I've refined my strategy a little bit. All right. And I don't know if I mentioned it before or not, but you know how I was kind of harping on the um, that video I was talking about to round like 150 or whatever, and I thought it seemed kind of fishy. Well, you know what? It's, it's not. It's totally not. Uh, it's, you know... I can totally see you being able to do uh, what they did till that up until that round, and really, it's more an exercise of uh, of patience and you know staying awake through all this than anything. Know what I mean? No, I just I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna try not to say that at all. Oh, I'm sorry about that in the last video. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Um, okay, so the refinements I make, uh, I'm making here. I mean, obviously I'm using the flamethrower. That's, you know, obvious point number one. I ended off the last video, I was uh, near the end of round 16, and I was using the Thompson primarily. But uh, now, uh, all I have, oops, I forgot to do that. Uh, all I have right now are the, uh, is the Colt and the flamethrower. And, you know, I switch to the Colt when I'm trying to run around. And I switch back to the flamethrower when I want to flame uh, this group of zombies. So I'll always come back here. I'll bring them all the way to the back uh, by that window. And then I'll at this pillar, just past this pillar, I'll turn. But I stand still. Uh, the thing is, I, I kept dying uh, during the round because I, I, I kept backing up. And then I'd back myself into a corner. And it was kind of ridiculous. So now I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm just going to go to a certain point, and we got there, ammo. Wow, that's, that's like, the clump of zombies has been sitting there for like several rounds now. It's kind of funny. They won't go away. No grab, I don't think I any points for it, but whatever, I'll grab it. Yeah, that big clump of zombies uh, just won't disappear for whatever reason. So, beginning of the round, I mean, that th that's the most difficult part, is the beginning of the round... When you're trying to group the zombies together, and they're they're coming in from the stairs, they're coming in from that window on the left, the window behind me, um, as well as through that hole in the wall, and that's the part where you're you're bound to to get into trouble. So I I start off with with smaller circles here. I do the the smaller circles until we get a bunch in, and then see what I mean? They start coming from that window, and then they come from the stairs, and now they're coming from the back window. So. You know, the chances of you dying are far greater, you know, during the initial stages of the round than, than any time else. I mean, once you have them all grouped up, it's like, you know, the only time you're going you're gonna to end up killing yourself is when uh, you back yourself into a corner. Um, by moving back, in my opinion, moving backwards while you're shooting the zombies. Or while I'm flaming the zombies or whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, and... You know, I, I did get caught up a few times. I know I uh, went down around 12. I think a couple other games, you know, I went down around 21, 25, 27. Whoa, what the hell did I get hung up on there? Light? And there is stuff to get hung up. I mean, even when you're running around here, there's stuff to get hung up on. So you definitely sort of want to stick to the middle of these, uh, these uh, you know, I'll call them laneways in this room. You got two laneways here. We got a nuke. So we're going to grab that. So you want to try and stick to the middle of the laneway. Um, you got to be careful, too, when you grab uh, nukes, because they don't all die at once. I mean, if you think they're all going to die, and you go and start repair a window, and all of a sudden they're attacking you and swiping you, that would be bad. So, yeah, try and stay in the middle of the laneways, because, I mean, you can get hung up on this, the, you know, this box, the shelf, uh, this box here, you know, those filing cabinets. Um, on the way back, there's the shelf here, you know, this light... So there are a lot of things that, that can get you hung up. I'm going to try and take this guy out. I, I don't really like these zombies staying at this back window. 
So if it's at the beginning of the round, I'll try and uh, I'll try and take him out. But I don't know if that was enough or not. And I try and keep that window repaired. Oh no no no! Wow, that was bad. Okay, see see here, I'm gonna be kind of stuck. Whoa! See what I mean? Like it's that beginning of the round time right there, where uh, you're at risk. I mean that was crazy. That was crazy right there. Like I freaking almost went down again. So I'm gonna try the small circle, which is not a very good idea when there's <laughs> when almost all the zombies are in the room. <laughs> so you know, not only is this <laughs> video gonna show you uh, good what what. To do on a on a solo strategy on Nocturnes can also be a good example of what the hell not to do, man. And uh, I guess uh, some of you guys have been saying, you know, oh, it's not a circle strategy, Spider. It's not a circle strategy. We call it something else. We call it the rape train. You know what? I'm gonna coin another term for this. I'm calling this the Rape Express, the NGT Rape Express. How about that? Screw the rape train. The rape train's too slow. You know? This is the express... This is the <laughs> express car. Uh, to going in, down in flames here. These zombies are going to hell. And it's the NGT. They're going to hell on the NGT rape express. Now, I, normally I don't use the flamethrower on this side. Uh, the only reason I don't like to do it... Um... I like to come back on this side, run all the way down to the window, make sure it's fully repaired. Um, because at the start of the round, if you have both windows and the wall to repair, you may not have time to do it. You may not have time to do it all. So I always run back to this wall or this uh, window. I'll repair it fully, um, and then I'll run back to the end of this this hallway. And see what I mean? Like, if those flames have died down on the zombies, if I'm constantly using the flamethrower. Uh, on both sides, then then I, I end up running into what I just did there. You run into to some flames because these zombies are still burning, and you run over these flames and you you get you get hurt. And I think uh, it probably only take one swipe from from one zombie to take you down, like in that scenario. So you know I try to stay away from doing that. I'll start at this window. Um, and I won't use the flamethrower. I'll only use the flamethrower on the left side of the uh, the hallway. So they already got that window coming down. So I'm going to do these small circles here. And then I'm going to run out here and let them come in at that window. And then that's how I got them grouped together now. Now we got it, uh, two guys at the back window here. We got another guy coming through this window. So we're going to do a bit larger of a circle. And then hopefully time it where these guys come in and they join the rest of the party. They're joining the rest of the express here and then we got guys coming in through that uh, that hole in the wall so you want to try and time it so that they all start coming in together and you don't have any uh, any zombies crossing over on you so but like I said I mean that uh, that video totally legit uh, you know and, and that's what happens you know you, you look at something for the first time maybe you have a, a bit uh, of a closed mind about it and you jump to uh, conclusions or make assumptions, and uh, then you, you know sometimes you just have to prove prove things to yourself. You know, it's like uh, do you accept every single time? Do you accept automatically everything your teachers in school tell you? I mean, sure, in a lot of cases, but you know, in some cases you got you got to question that. You got to question it. Uh, you don't just take things at face value. So you look at something and you're like, mm, I don't know, I don't know. But at the same time, you know, I wanted to go back and, and prove whether it was uh, it was uh, legit or not. Oh, see, I keep getting hung up in that spot. I was jumping. Oh, this is good. Insta kill with a flamethrower. Oh yeah. Rape Express. So. See, so yeah, I think I, I repeated like the same phrase in that last video. What? I don't know. Somebody said to count 15 times. I don't know what the hell I was doing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I just don't know what happened. Sigh.
Hey guys, we now have our own website. Actually, we've always had our own website, but why not follow us on there? There you'll find all our videos conveniently sorted into playlists by game, as well as videos from many other directors that are part of our NGT network.